All right, so this is uh, this is going to be about uh, capacitors, specifically run capacitors. All right, so here we have a single run capacitor, we have a dual run capacitor, and we got these guys, which I pretty much just consider to be universal run capacitors. So what you'll find is when we come up and when we read this guy, we see we see 10 MFD plus or minus 5%. What that means is MF, MFD stands for microfarads. That is basically the you know unit of measurement for um, the charge that these hold. And that five plus or minus five percent means what it can tolerate as far as the difference in numbers. For instance, um, it can be you know five percent. Uh, below 10 or 5% above 10 and um, but in reality it's really it goes you can use uh, minus 5% plus 10% that's kind of a general rule for all capacitors but um, that's just kind of what they what they say here now you'll also see 370 VAC there's uh, so what we have is we have 370 and we have uh, 440 now, a uh, 440 can be used on a 370, but a 370 cannot be used on a 440. Um, and that's pretty much the deal with that. Now, on these guys, you'll see also on the tops that there's only two, but they, uh, two lugs, but they all have four, four spades. On these dual run capacitors, you'll see they have three, and it's, you can kind of see it there. So there's, you see Herm, you see the letter C, which stands for common. And then you see fan. So uh, Herm is going to go to your compressor. And uh, fan is going to go, well, to your fan. And then common is going to go to uh, your contactor, which will then go back to the compressor as well. Um, and also take note of how many spades there are for each one. Fan will have one spade. Herm will have three spades, and Common will have four spades. And that's pretty much all around. And now you'll also see this little kind of, you know, bubbly deal going on here. So uh, what can happen is, and this is a way of knowing um, if a capacitor is bad or not right off the bat, is if it's swelled up at all. If this top is pushed up at all, even a little bit, or it's kind of, you know, swelled up, it's a bad capacitor off the bat. But what happens is this guy right here is if it swells up too much, it'll actually explode and oil will come out. out. Uh, so inside of these is basically a series of uh, rings uh, surrounded by oil, and um, then it has two layers of a, a thin foil that basically store, um, store, the, store the charge. Now, it's not necessarily that this boosts a unit. It's not like a, you know, it's not like liquid adrenaline or anything, but um, it holds a charge, and continuously sends it in. Uh, think of it, I guess it's almost kind of like a a raceway, but not the uh, direct, you know, it's not like that. Um, but yeah, so we can measure run capacitors too. And the way we measure them is with a, with a meter. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to measure it, um, how to calculate the MFD. If you don't uh, know the MFD, if it doesn't say it or anything, but you need to know what MFD the capacitor is, um, and then I'll show you uh, just how to check if it's good or not besides the visual looks. So the meter that I'm using is a, uh, it's a Klein CL390. Now they also call these kind of meters uh, amp clamps or, um, you know, I've also heard things called like jaw meters, like just different, different things that they, oh, there is a jaw meter, but it's also a little bit separate where it just has two open jaws instead of a clamp that goes all the way around, but it's not important right now. Um, so what we are looking for is uh, we're going to be checking uh, capacitance. Now for this specific meter uh, to check capacitance, we are looking for, if you see this little symbol right here, that kind of has the, you know, yeah, you can see that right there, that pen's pointing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and turn the meter on to it. Okay, and um, we're then going to hit 
the select button because it's one of the orange. It's not, you know, we're not, uh, we're not, we're not doing all that. Um, we're going to wait until it gets to NF. Okay. And so we're going to take this guy right here and see how it says 10 microfarads, plus or minus 5%. We'll take one lead to one side. And I'm using alligator clips just because it's easy. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I'm just doing it because I'm lazy. So you can see it says 4.5. This is a this is a bad one. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're rolling with here. We got 4.5 microfarads, so this is actually a bad capacitor. Well, all right then, I did not know that. Well, that's nice. All right, so now we're gonna be checking this uh, this dual, dual run comp capacitor. So we got 40 plus five. Now that 40 goes to the compressor, that five goes to the fan. So you remember how on top I talked about fan, herm, and common? So we're gonna go from common, and we're gonna go to the fan, and that should read five plus or minus, which is what we have there. Now we're gonna go to herm, which is the compressor, which should read somewhere in the ballpark of 40, plus or minus. And right about there is where we gotta be. So that is pretty much how, you know. So this guy's actually not, uh, this guy's okay. But uh, yeah, so now let's say, um, now let's say that you don't know, uh, you don't know what microfarads it is or any of that kind of stuff. Um, so just a quick recap, 10 microfarads, this is just a single, this is a dual. And remember one of the big differences was up on top, you know, the markings and stuff like that. Um, this is going to be how to tell without any of the stuff. So there's going to be a few pieces of information that you're going to need. And uh, which, all right, so the first piece of information that you're going to need to know is you're going to need to know the amp draw coming from, in this case, you know, with a dual, which is probably what you're going to run into the most, um, from the Herm. So the wire coming from Herm going to the side of the compressor. On the side of the compressor, there will also be kind of a lug situation similar to this with Common and Herm. And then uh, there should be one other one um, that should be coming from the contactor as well, if I remember that right. And the fan's gonna be totally separate. But uh, so the wire going from Herm to the compressor, you're gonna wanna go ahead and, um, at least for this meter specifically, you can go to 40 amps, and then there's a line here, line here, and then there's one up top right here you can't see. Um, you're going to put that around the wire uh, while it's running, and you're going to see what the amp draw is. And you're going to take that amp draw, and that amp draw is going to be part of a formula. That formula is basically going to go, it's the amps going to the compressor times, now this is where hertz come into play, which um, you look onto the compressor you see this is 60 and 50 and you see that this one is also 60 and 50 they won't all be like that um and you're gonna basically what, I, what i'm getting at is there's a set number so for 60 hertz it's 2652 and for 50 hertz it is 3183 so you're going to take the amp draw that's going to the compressor you're going to multiply that by 2652 or 3183 depending if it's 60 hertz or 50 hertz then you're going to divide that by the uh, voltage across the capacitor. And when I say that, I mean you are going to go from common to herm, and you're going to measure that. Um, so that's that's pretty much how you're going to figure out uh, what the microfarads is to the compressor, if or what the, I'm sorry, the microfarads of the capacitor if you do not have a uh, tag on this. Um, 